any one in particular. Uh, I'm going to answer questions to the best of my ability as far as the difference between A, B, and C. So, uh, start off, what am I vaping on? So, uh, I have not put this down in a minute since I got it. The uh, This is the SQ, the Squonk Mod from Signature Tips UK, Signature tips.co.uk uh, on top I've got the icon the green icon that I got from uh, Jim Sharon over at Camelot e-liquid uh, with the clear button and the clear drip tip I think that is a uh, that is a very sexy setup even went as far as to go with a green battery so let's have a rip off of this guy Beautiful, beautiful vape. What else? What else? What else do we have? I know I have something else. And unfortunately, my camera is not. Well, there we go. Now it wants to refocus. Let's take this out of manual focus mode. And just focus it on this beautiful mug I've got on top of my shoulders. <clears throat> so, uh, also, next up, the uh, Vaporized Nomads Apprentice Box. Um, I will be using this as an example of a series unregulated, so you will get to see what's inside this box here very shortly. I've got the uh, Unholy RDA with a Speedy Built drip tip. In here, I'm vaping on something that I am uber, uber excited about. This is the new Camelot Reserve, and let's bring this back into focus mode the new camelot reserve butter pecan almond so uh, i don't know i know jim sharon is in the chat i don't know if this is available on camelot's site yet but i know i have a bottle in my hand and it is fucking ridiculous good you know i can't go anywhere without a bottle of my uh, bourbon custard I've got a couple of extra bottles hanging around the house as per usual, but this one is, um, it's so good. It's so good. I suspect, and I don't know because I haven't, I haven't asked Jim, nor do I think I should, uh, because if it is, I don't want to know that way. I, I don't spill the beans, but I suspect this is the exact same recipe as butter pecan tobacco. The word tobacco creeps a lot of people out, so uh, I can understand taking a different route because there may be some almond in there, but this tastes just like butter pecan tobacco, and it is, it is uber, uber good. Do not let the tobacco word scare you. If it's done right, it's very good, and this one is done right. So, uh, that's it. Like literally that's it. I did not I did not put down the SQ mod. Uh, I didn't pick up anything else. I got it what Thursday. I did not pick up anything else Thursday. Like no mechanicals, no tubes, no uh, unregulated, no regulated, nothing. I literally vape this all day. So it's got to be good if I'm definitely if I'm not picking up my boss or my Sherman or something else um you know it's got to be good but um uh, i got the apprentice box in from uh from vaporized nomads i am going to review this one for them uh and now i have a reason to pick something else up this is a very very clean build for the price on these 109 dude nikki knocked it out of the park with this one that that lady has some skills with a soldering iron so and plus, whoo, plus that Camelot just makes it all, all that much more better. More better? That's, that's a fucking JH term. So I've got a giant cup of uh, Starbucks Sumatra. Let's go down right here and take a look at a couple of things. So, like I said, I'm going to use this as the example. So. We're going to dig right into this. Mods, what are they? Uh, that is a, a typical question 
I get a lot of the times people come in and they say, um, you know, I need a new battery. I assume because, you know, this is my hobby and I know the terminology. Um, I assume they're talking about an 18650. They are not most of the time. Most of the time they are talking about this. This to me is a power supply unit. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, I think a power supply unit is a more appropriate term for what this is than, uh, or this for that instance, or this. They're all power delivery units. They're just in different form factors. So um, we know the term as mod. Where did that term come from? From one of these. Right, this is a uh, a Panzer, a Black Hawk Panzer, and this was the, these were originally modified from things like flashlights and uh, you know just basic tubes and stuff like that that were modified. Ergo, the word mod. They were modified to vape with. So uh, necessity is the mother to all invention. So that is where the term came from. So. This is a series unregulated semi-mechanical mod. And I don't know why Eddie is calling me when he can just basic jump tubes and chat, stuff like that. But that were modified. Ergo uh, the word mod. They were modified. <laughs> I'm live right now, buddy. What can I do? Yeah. Yeah, so are you. <laughs> No, no, you're not on speakerphone. I'm literally on, on the uh, little dive down, taking a look at this box mod. Ten, ten, four. All right, bye. Okay, there you have it. Dear Eddie, calling uh, while I'm live. He obviously did not check his notifications. Either way it goes, he says hello to everyone in chat who is watching. So. Uh, unregulated. What does that mean? That means there is nothing in here to tell these two batteries what to send to this 510. This is your 510 connection. That is where your positive and your negative are created uh, to essentially close uh, the electrical circuit. This is what actually does the closing of the circuit. If there were batteries in here, this would be essentially an open circuit. You hit the button, everything powers on, it's a closed circuit. Power goes from the source to the uh, resistor. In this case, it would be coils. Uh, but take a look at this box though, guys. Look how clean that build is. Like I said, Nikki knows what she's doing. She, uh, she was taught by one of the best in the game. But, uh, Unregulated means no regulation. Unregulated does not mean mechanical because this is an unregulated mod too. However, it has a chip on the inside of it. This is the only thing that this chip and uh, this potentiometer over here does is uh, it, it switches through modes to tell you what your voltage on your pack is so what each one of your what your combined voltage on your batteries is and this regulates your output voltage up or down right so it's uh this is an unregulated because there's there's not really any regulation there's no safety features anything like that if you put batteries backwards in this thing it will 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 uh go awry and it will go that way quick so this one, same thing. Unregulated, you put your batteries in backwards, you are literally gonna fry everything inside of, uh, of this box mod. So I'm gonna replace these screws because I will lose them if I don't. But uh, those, are, those are the two kind of classic uh, series configuration of an unregulated box mod. 
um, and I'm just strictly talking about box mods at the moment. Uh, a classic series configuration for a mechanical mod would be this guy, where you have two batteries stacked on top of each other. The negative or positive, whichever way you choose, choose to run it, is... Um, for the sake of argument, we'll say we're running the batteries positive up on this guy. Uh, your negative would touch the switch. Your positive would be at the top. Your negative would be at the bottom. And then your positive would be at the top. Stacked tube mods. So you got one battery on top of the other. This, however, is an unregulated uh, tube. So there's simply one battery positive up or down either way uh, Bob's your uncle as mr. Bogan would say so let's take a look at a parallel unregulated box right this is a triple parallel so three batteries in uh, parallel configuration which means all positives up all negatives down uh, the difference We'll use these two uh, because this uh, slide X box has way more differences than these two. Uh, the two that I'm showing right now are, are more alike uh, than the, the slide X. So on this guy right here, you can see this is your MOSFET and that basically protects your switch from amp load. Your MOSFET here, same thing. Uh, so essentially you know just just looking at it to the untrained eye they're pretty similar right well this one you're going to multiply your batteries milliamp hours but you keep you you retain single battery voltage so all even though there's three batteries in this one you're only going to get 4.2 volts at at full charge you're only going to get 4.2 volts out of this one at full charge with this one, with one up, uh, one positive up, one positive down, you're going to multiply your voltage. So 8.4 volts straight off the charger. So what, what does that mean for practical use? So on this guy, that means you're going to be putting a lot more power to your coils immediately. This one, however, is going to give you a lot more battery life. So this one's going to give you literally three times the battery life of this guy, a single tube mechanical mod, with the added benefit of amp load. So your amp load uh, is going to be split across all three of these batteries more or less evenly. Uh, some people say it's going to be you know, more heavy on the closest battery to the button, but in theory, it should split the amp load against all three of your batteries. So let's just say you build something really, really dumb low, right? An, a 0 0.04, right? That is stupid low. So you would have, uh, and let's just say it's 90 amps is what it's drawing. You have three, 30 amp batteries in here you're gonna you'll be maxing out the uh, the amp load on these batteries theoretically I do not do not do not suggest that you build something that's gonna draw 90 amps because that is gonna be a bad day really fast but uh, if you were going to I would say this or even a quad parallel setup is the only way to attempt anything like that but I got to say it again, I do not recommend this, recommend that to anybody. So uh, this, in my opinion, right, parallel, if you want, uh, the, if you want the most battery life, you're going to go after parallel. Now, the problem with parallel is you're only getting 4.2 volts, so you're going to have to build lower to get a higher 
um, a higher felt output, right? So this one at 0.29 will feel like, you know, 180 watts, just using that as a ballpark estimate. Uh, this one will feel like 180 watts, whereas this one will feel like 90 watts, right? So if you want 180 watts out of this one, you're going to have to build below what you're normally used to. So this would be um, this would be the best way to go for battery life and lower resistance builds. If you want more punch, series is the way to go because you're going to build higher, which is going to put less amp draw on your batteries, first of all, and it's going to provide higher voltage, which equates to, if, if you did the math, it would equate to higher, uh, higher wattages, right? Felt wattages. Uh, so let's move on to the difference between these two, right? Slat X and this guy, the Evic Primo 2.0. So, unregulated, regulated. How do I figure this one's unregulated? Well, there's no, to me, and this may be completely ass backwards, but, uh, and it would not surprise me one bit in the world if it was, but to me, this is not regulation, right? Because this isn't telling, this isn't using a chip to tell uh, the the batteries what to push to uh, to the 510, right? So this is not telling. Uh, there, there's no computer chip in there saying, "Oh, well, you're going to push X amount to this." Uh, this simply allows you to adjust, right? Whereas this one. It has a board in it. There's the, to, these have self-preservation built into them. So if you put the batteries in backwards on this one, it doesn't work. If you have a battery that is out of uh, out of balance, say my battery in the two spot was half charge and this one's full charge, it's just not going to work. It's not going to let you do anything to it to damage the board. Right? Self-preservation. Uh, this one does not give a damn about self-preservation. All it knows is there's two batteries in here and there's a button right here that closes that circuit. So even though there's a chip and there is some sort of uh, what some people would call power regulation, uh, this is not um, this is not a regulated device. There is no self-preservation. If you hit the button on this one with batteries in backwards, you, well, first of all, you're probably not going to get that far. Uh, when your batteries go in backwards on this guy, it's just going to fry everything up under this 3D printed cover. Uh, this one, you put your batteries in backwards, you're pretty well safe. Plus, it has different modes you can go into. Uh, you can, on, on this guy, you can do temperature control. You can do uh, variable voltage and, and variable wattage. You can, uh, you can lock in coil resistances when it comes to uh, TC and stuff like that. So look at that juice all over the top of the mod. Do you think I clean the damn things first? But uh, that is, you know, near enough your classic example of a regulated, regulated mod versus unregulated. Now, pros and cons between regulated and unregulated so uh this guy right here does not give a damn what you build down to it doesn't matter what you build this one doesn't care what you build up to they are simply going to provide the power from the batteries to the resistor which is the coils uh it's going to push every bit of power that it can possibly push with you know a ZFG kind of attitude, you know, zero fucks given. It doesn't care. It's only going to push out 4.2 volts. It's only going to push out 8.4 volts or wherever your batteries are at at the time. Uh, whereas this one is going to tell you um, when you need to charge your batteries. It's not going to let you discharge your batteries too low. Um, 
these will let you discharge your batteries until they absolutely stop working. So that in and of itself <coughs> is a huge argument to be made for the regulated side. Now, if you prefer raw power, um, this and this are the way to go because these, you're gonna feel battery sag in, in both of these devices. You're gonna, you'll learn, uh, you'll, you'll become, you, when you're in an unregulated scenario, you become more in tune with how the device handles its power delivery, how the batteries react to a certain load, uh, things like that. You, you'll become more accustomed to how the batteries feel when uh, when they're they're getting to the point where they need to be recharged. Uh, these are race cars. This is a Toyota Camry. If you want something that's going to be reliable, that's going to be consistent, that's going to go for a minute, you know, and even if you drive like a dumbass, it's still going to be pretty forgiving. Regulated is the way for you to go. If you prefer a Lambo, you're looking at these guys because these are gonna these are gonna make you. Uh, there is no forgiveness in here. You have to be a lot more in tune with what you're doing. You know, you drive a Lambo recklessly, you're gonna wind up in a ditch somewhere. Drive a Camry recklessly, you could still wind up in a ditch, but it's a hell of a lot less likely, right? So. That's the way I look at it. Is is sport? These are sports cars. You know, these are not for your first time drivers. These are not for the sixteen year olds whose mom and dad's got a lot of money. Uh, this neither none of these are for sixteen year olds. I'm not saying it's okay for sixteen year olds to vape. So I know there somebody's going to get their fucking panties in a wad over that. But uh, when you go out and buy your kid his first car, you don't buy him a goddamn Ferrari. You buy him a beat up Toyota. This is your Toyota. Um, but yeah, I prefer the Ferraris because I've been doing, I've been doing this a long time. This is, this is the way I prefer to vape because I'm a tinkerer. Uh, this, this mod right here was built for me by my good friend, John Russ. And, uh, this, whoa, Jesus, that was loud. Still to this day, this is one of my favorite, most reliable mods. I have not used this in, I know seven months eight months maybe uh but i promise you if i put batteries in this right now and i put an atomizer on top of it it would fire every time i hit the button uh this one is the apprentice box from vaporized nomads and i am going to put my batteries back in y'all so so see right there on an on a regulated device I would not have even taken a second glance to throw my batteries in it because if I put the batteries in backwards, it's just not going to work. It took me, there was a, a slight hesitation before I slid that second battery in because if I put it in wrong, fucked. So even a seasoned, uh, a seasoned vapor can, uh, can wind up doing uh you know doing dumb shit from time to time so another huge thing that i want to cover uh while we're while we're down here and while we're talking about uh these devices uh by the way is batteries right so these batteries i rewrapped myself uh these are samsung 25 r's i have a 0.28 build in here so uh amp loads fine on these guys to be running in a uh, in a series config like that so if you are running this guy stack tube mod or this guy single tube mod or even this guy right what batteries do you think would uh would perform bet well we're not even going to put this in there because that's that's not even a question so these these two in particular if these were um 
if these were the choices that you had at hand for this guy, there are two batteries that I suggest. This is a Sony BTC4. This is a 30 amp battery. You can tell it's a, it's a Sony, uh, well, because it says BTC4 on the side of it. Uh, or this guy, the LG HB6. This is a fantastic 30 amp battery. This is what I run in nine out of 10 mechanical scenarios, right? Uh, for something like this, right, where you're gonna be sharing the amp load, uh, let's, let's say, uh, just for continuity's sake, you're running a 0 0.10 on here, right? That's, that's pretty low. It's still, uh, it's still pretty, uh, a pretty hard thump at 4.2 volts and it's still a really good vape at 3.6 volts so what batteries could you run in here of course you could run these you're not going to get near as good a battery life but since you're sharing that amp load right and let's say it's a 40 amp uh 40 amp draw off of uh, uh off of your your resistance versus your voltage uh, Something like this, the Samsung 25R, is a perfectly fine choice. This is going to give you uh, more milliamp hours than both of these, uh, and it's going to give you plenty of amp uh, amp capacity to where you can tote a uh, 0.1 ohm load on there. Another one is this guy, the LG HE4. I actually prefer the HE4 in this box. This is a triple 18650, so I actually prefer the HE4s because these to me get a little bit, and I'm talking maybe 35, 40 minutes longer of battery life than the, the uh, Samsung 25Rs. So uh, I'm not gonna give you any, uh, any tips on how to figure out if a battery is authentic or not because I'm not a battery expert by any stretch of the imagination uh, but these are both legit these are both legit because they came from a recognized legitimate battery dealer I bought all four of these batteries from IMR uh, so I know they are a trusted source for legitimate batteries that's that's who I suggest everyone use if you can't find them locally or something like that imr is the way to go they're going to give you the best price uh on something that you don't have to worry about is it a rewrap is it you know just somebody got a bunch of yellow wraps and stamped lghe4 on them so uh all of these batteries will work just fine in this but since you're sharing that amp load i would say remove these from the equation altogether because you're losing milliamp hours and in something where you have a shared load right there that's those two are the way to go so i would say me personally if i'm running a triple uh triple parallel a lg he4s all day long because these batteries are uh, a little bit little bit better on battery life in the end so uh, let me throw a curveball in here because as most of you know by now, this is my new favorite mechanical. This is the Admiral from uh, uh, BJ Box Mods, the guys that made the broadside. And it takes my new favorite battery, the 2700. Now, difference between that and this is, I mean, it's two millimeters wider in diameter it's five millimeters longer in length but I don't know how they are stacking this much juice and that good of an amp rating so it essentially has the same amp rating as the Sony VTC4 with twice the milli almost not exactly twice but almost twice the life right so the milliamp hours on this one uh, are almost twice that of a uh, 
a VTC4 or a uh, uh, an LG HB6, it is twice an LG HB6 with the same amp load uh, capacity. So those, anything that's that's coming out with these 2700s or the 21700s or whatever the hell those are, uh, I haven't even heard of them yet. So um, those are those are most definitely going to wind up taking the market over. I have a feeling because it's not much larger in in uh, form factor, but it is much more much better of a sale in my opinion. So uh, let's go and go back up. Holy shit, that was a long time down low. So uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to say. I think I ran my mouth too much. Is that possible? No, it's not. Shut up. Brittany's in there agreeing with me, saying that I did run my mouth too much. But um, 21700s pack more, I believe. Well, ST, thank you for your insight. However, you are not a battery expert. I will wait on Mooch to weigh in. So, regulated versus unregulated. <clears throat> to me <coughs> Jesus <clears throat> to me not even an argument I want unregulated I want uh, I want power straight from the battery because I am more of a feel person right I like the feel of the first five pulls off of a good mech build with a fresh hot battery. I love it. There's nothing better in my opinion. Tell me about uh, that side of things. It seems that uh, President Vladimir Putin really, is really being very cool and collected in how to deal. The last 10 pulls at 3.6 volts. When uh, I have gotten to the point where I've been using unregulated devices so much that I can feel when the batteries uh, have got to a certain point. Nine times out of ten, when I pull the batteries out of a mechanical mod and the, or an unregulated, and they go on the charger, they're between 3.55 and 3.65. So that's you know where I like my batteries to stay uh, as far as uh, what I discharge them down to. You can you can go much lower, but the vape is no longer satisfying at that point. So. There's just something about mechanical and unregulated that I really thoroughly enjoy. Uh, by the way, I am paying attention to chat. If there are any questions, put them in all capitals and uh, I will get to them one way or the other. Another thing I want to talk about is uh, choice, right? So we live in a country that allows a lot of freedom of choice. Right, there are some uh, freedoms that we won't go into that, that are regularly uh, dictated to us, but that's neither here nor there. We still have the freedom of choice in this country. And if you prefer to vape unregulated, that's great. If you prefer to vape regulated, that's fantastic. I have no reason to down you for uh, vaping a regulated device. I vape them, I own them, I have a ton of them. I like regulated devices in certain scenarios. Uh, but there's a lot of people in this community especially, I don't know what the fuck happened to people when they quit smoking, but they became just outlandish dickheads sometimes saying that my way of vaping is better than your way of vaping. And to those people, I say, eat that. You know, I prefer unregulated because I am a tinkerer. I like to build coils. I like to, um, I like to build mods. I've built mods before. Uh, I like the, the simplicity 
of I don't have to worry about a board. I don't have to dial anything in. I don't have to go through and set a, a TCR or any of that shit. I put batteries in a box and push the button. And that's how I like to vape. There's a lot of people out there who like to tinker with their mods instead of their builds. So to that, I say, hey, fucking awesome sauce. Go for it. But this to me, there's nothing better. Unregulated. Unregulated with a banging juice. Banging. So, uh, yeah. Have you ever tried the tailspin by Steel Vape? Why, yes, I have. It's, um, okay, so the thing about this one is the, uh, the little sleeve spins, even when you don't want it to. The button wobbles from side to side, and this may be different on yours, but uh, the button wobbles from side to side on this one, left and right, and I don't like the feel of that uh, clear-coated uh, button on there. I, I just, I really don't like it. But the performance of the mod itself is not bad. Uh, the construction of the mod is, is decent. You know, the quality materials is okay, I suppose. Um, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I, I mean, I also, I don't hate it. So there's that, but yeah, I mean, looks wise, it looks damn fine. It looks damn fine. Shave beard and a romper. What? Negative. Never going to happen. The romper has to happen. The romper has to happen. Shaved beard? No, sir. Never, ever, ever. Man, that is so good. So Brittany was going to be on this week, but uh, my daughter had her uh, dance recital today, and she has been up far too early uh, and, and on the move for the large majority of the day doing what good moms do so she has the night off obviously Heavy, what kind of wire do you like to use for series builds? So in this guy I have uh, my standard my standard build for uh Mechanical mods or unregulated parallel devices uh, is going to be 26 gauge cores with 38 gauge or 40 gauge wrap wire fused Claptons. Uh, that is that is by far my favorite build because it's it's not a 10 on any one level, but it's not a one. It's about an eight all the way across. So it's really well balanced. Uh, it's easy to make. Uh, it, fuse Clapton wire to me is easy to make. Uh, it it gets plenty of surface area. It's versatile. You can put it in regulated. You can put it in unregulated. You can put it in uh, series. You can put it in parallel. You can put it in single mechanical. It it covers the spectrum of of what I like to have covered. So uh, for a series build. Uh, in a well let's scratch that go back in a tube mod I put uh, five wraps 2638 2640 in uh, on a three millimeter uh, three millimeter inside diameter and it comes out to about a point one zero if I want to go lower than that which I did on the uh, on the SQ here I did want to take it down a little bit lower just to see uh, if I could eliminate all of the ramp up time and get that good satisfying mechanical vape off of it. Uh, so I took and staged it with a piece of 26 gauge Nichrome 
which is what all the coils are made out of, all nichrome, all the time. Uh, I do vape stainless steel whenever you know somebody gives me a set of stainless steel coils, but other than that, when I when I go to buy wire, I buy nichrome just because I'm used to it. That's what I'm comfortable with. That's you know th that's what I like. Uh, I don't get any metallic flavor like some people do. It doesn't. Uh, nothing on there bothers me. So nichrome 80 is the way I go. But for a series configuration, instead of doing five reps, I'll do 10 reps or 11 reps. And as you can see on this one, this is about a 10 or 11 rep. Uh, let's bring up the camera controls and the focus button. So as you can see there, so it's basically just 26, 38 fuse claptons, uh, three millimeter inside diameter. And uh, yeah, works really, really well. Uh, I do like the, the outside clamp style. So this one's basically, if you took a goon, which has the clamps up and down and turned it on its side with the clamps going this way, that's how the Death Wish uh, or the uh, Unholy RDA from Death Wish Mods. I think that's who makes it. Anyways, whoever makes the Death Wish mod and makes the Unholy RDA, that's what clamp style they use. So uh, I really like that because it gives you more, uh, it, it gives you more deck space instead of limiting you to where you would have to put it like this on a goon, you can actually open it up a lot wider. Uh, so the Unholy is a perfect RDA for series configuration. Another one that's good for stack tube mods is the uh, the Roughneck version two. It has that, I mean the Roughneck version three, it has the outside clamps. So you can clamp them down and have those big nasty builds with plenty of, uh, plenty of deck space, plenty of build area to, uh, to get a series build comfortably in there. So if you're looking for something or even like a Kennedy 25 with the, the two posts, so you got two posts way on the outside, you can literally build from this post to that post, as opposed to something like a goon where you can only build from here to here on a Kennedy, you can build from here to here. So uh, the longer you can get your coils, the more, uh, more surface area you can get more surface area equals more uh, more juice being atomized at one time, which obviously is going to lead to more flavor and bigger clouds. So it's all about surface area, to me at least. Thank you, Mr. Tooney. It's a pretty decent build. But heavy, the roughneck only fits on the rig. That is why I said, if you're looking for a stacked rig, so if you wanted to run a stacked rig mod, Roughneck is perfect for that. Mike in LA says, Heavy, what do you prefer, the Unholy or the Roughneck version three? Um, I'm vaping on the Unholy right now and I have not, I've, I had been running it on my stacked broadside. Uh, perfect, perfect build deck for uh, a series build. It's, it has a 510 pin on it, so you can literally use it on anything. Uh, and uh, it looks good to boot. So uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with the Unholy on that one. And I know that's weird coming from a rig fanboy, but uh, in, this, in this kind of uh, scenario, I'm going with the Unholy. Jason Walker, I was just pulling your chain, buddy. No, uh, no hard feelings. So, I, I would imagine I'm getting some uh, messages from Jim Sharon, and I'm 100% correct. So, uh, Jim, my main question is, uh, and I know there's there's a lot of people who would like to know, uh, is Butter Pecan Almond available on your website. If it is, can you please 
drop a link in there. Um, it is CamelotEliquid.com, I believe. I may be wrong, but uh, I believe that's, or is it CamelotDistribution.com? Shit. Let's see. Hang on. Move this up close camera out the way. And let's bring up a new tab. Let's see. Ooh, excuse me. I burped. Yep, CamelotEliquid.com. So uh, I am currently checking to see. All right, yes, I'm well old enough. More than old enough. So uh, let's go to eLiquids. Let's go to the exclusive reserve line. Unfortunately, it is not on their website as of right now. So I just got word in that on the 26th, it will be on the site. I would say on the 26th, go pick you up at least two bottles because you're going to blow through the first bottle and be like, son of a bitch, I need to get some more. And you'll wait two days and then you'll get it in and it'll be, you know, oh, you know, you, you're going to want to baby one of the, the, the next bottle to wait on the, the following up order. So uh, just go ahead and order you two bottles off the rip because I promise you, you're going to run through one. If you like butter pecan, it, you're going to you're going to smash it like smash, smash, smash. So. I see some uh, what is the difference? of a 10 wrap coil versus a five wrap parallel coil. Um, that, I do not know. Well, it's probably a 10 wrap, a 10 wrap coil versus a five wrap parallel. So a 10, the, the, the resistance is gonna be way different, like massively different. Because you're putting two pieces of wire side by side. So as opposed to one piece of wire. So yeah, it's going to be, your resistance is going to be considerably lower, first of all. Second of all, the, you know, I would not run a five wrap parallel in a, in a, a series scenario because it's gonna be far too low. It doesn't matter, I mean, unless you're using parallel 36 gauge, you know, which nobody's gonna use that. But um, if, so instead of having a piece of wire that is this long, you have two pieces of wire that are this long. So the resistance on the two pieces of wire that are this long is gonna be considerably less than one piece of wire this long. I hope that, Makes sense. It it kind of it does up here. I don't know if that's the best way to explain it, but the the resistance is going to be way lower. Yep. And Jim says they also have Canthal stainless steel and nichrome wire, which I'm waiting on some uh, some samples of. Uh, Jim, talking to you here, buddy. I would use a single, how tall are you have heavy? How tall are you? Uh, I am six foot, two and a half inches tall. Mike Vapes, I will not shut up. I'm laying down, I'm laying down some fucking knowledge here, son. Having some. I did wear diapers once, Fagan. I've never worn them as an adult. Uh, I'm not Brian. I've never worn them as an adult, but I did wear diapers at one point. Uh, but yeah, so just so everybody is 100% aware, uh, my channel is not sponsored by Camelot. I, I've had 
people say, hey, well, you know, I don't know. You talk about Camelot a lot. Maybe, you know, is, is he a sponsor of yours? No, he is not a sponsor. Jim is a fucking one of a kind class act Southern gentleman to the fucking T. That guy literally will bend over backwards for you if you need him. Um, it is people like that that make this industry and this community what it is, a family. If I called Jim tomorrow and I said, dude, I'm out of everything. I need a restock and I need it here first thing Monday morning. He would literally put it in his car and drive it down first thing Monday morning. So uh, there are not very many people out there who would do that for uh, a customer, a client, whatever you, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but on top of all that, even if that was that was pushed to the side, the product that he produces is, it, to me, it is head and shoulders above anything that's being made right now, right? The, the consistency is spot on point. Uh, the flavors themselves are unique. Uh, I had never tried a bourbon anything, right, that I ever liked until I found vanilla bourbon custard. And I have not put it down yet. Um, I may, it may be sharing time from now on with the uh, butter pecan almond because this stuff, ooh, that stuff is banging. So, uh, huge shout out to him. Go support the people who support us. Uh, Jim is doing fantastic work over there at Camelot. Uh, pick you up a bottle and then do this. Pick you up a bottle from Jim's website, take it to your local shop, and have somebody in there try it. And then let them get a hold of Jim. That is the way to take somebody from a really good manufacturer to a really good manufacturer that everybody can enjoy. So, uh, is it better than killer custard? They're two different things, right? So, <laughs> Thanks, Brittany. Uh, completely trying to derail the show. Uh, Killer Custard and Vanilla Bourbon are two completely different animals. Uh, vanilla Bourbon is more on the savory side. Uh, it's more, it's like a thick, rich, um, it, it feels heavier, right? It feels like it's, it's a little bit more heavy. Uh, the Custard from uh, Vaptasia, Killer Custard, is more of a sweet, uh, heavy on the vanilla, so it's a little bit lighter as far as flavor goes, uh, but it is much, much sweeter. Uh, the vanilla bourbon blends the bourbon in with the vanilla and the custard, and it gives it almost, like almost a little spicy note, you know, like a, I don't, I don't know how to explain it other than a spicy note. So, um, R Rusty Shackelford, I love that name. Flat Earth, yes, the Earth is flat. No, I'm not serious. So now that the uh, now that the trolls have made themselves known, I'm talking to you, Mike Vapes, and I'm talking to you, Vaping Fagan. Uh, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. So. I want to thank everybody for uh, for joining in, hanging out tonight. While I uh, didn't really have anything. All right, else let's go. To do. Everybody who's so. tricky, be ready. Everybody who's not tricky, be right here down in the center. Judges, I need my judges. Where you at? I need I need the uh, back door closed. I need the side door closed. I need Bud Tattoo. I need uh, Josh Mahooligans. I need the air off. I need Mike from Liquid Effects. I need everybody. Let's go. Uh, oh, do you want to show them? Do you want to show them? Come on in here. Come on in here. Little Miss 500 votes right here. 500 and some odd votes. She had her... Uh, you want to show them? Anything? You don't want to there we go. You don't want to say thank Judges you. They voted for it. They voted for it. Oh, that's so sweet. So she got her... Uh, Oh, my little girl. All right, take this.
So, that is it. Family time. Yo, uh, who likes snapbacks? <laughs> who likes snapbacks? Snapbacks and tattoos, that's what I'm talking about. I got some five. All right, let's go. Everybody who's tricky, be ready. Everybody who's not tricky, be right here down in the center. Judges, I need my judges. Where you at? I need, I need the uh, back door closed. I need the side door closed. I need Bud Tattoo. I need uh, Josh from Hooligans. I need the Air Off. I need Mike from Liquid Effects. I need everybody. Let's go. Who likes snapbacks? Snapbacks and tattoos, that's what I'm talking about. I got some five star snapbacks. You guys want them? Shout out to five star being one of the sponsors on 2016 tour. Shout out to five star. We got some five star people here. You got some five star people here. So you guys want a snapback? All right. Snap back again. What side wants one? You guys want one? There's one. There's one. There's one. Throw it to the back. Throw it to the back. Oh, shit. That was five star. I'm going to give up some uh, five star uh, packs of juice in a little bit, too. Give it up one time for five star juice, everybody. All right. All right, like I said before in the beginning, guys, if you're in front of a camera that's right there, we have a camera right there. And we have a camera right there. We also have another one right there. If you are in front of that camera's direction to this front stage, I'm going to ask you to please scoot to one side or the other. Please. Cool. All right, you guys ready to have a trick comp? Trick comp. In no particular order, we're going to start it off with Charles. Charles, you're up. We need to make a designated row, though. Like I said, we're going to have to have at least a people are going to have to walk up here. So if somebody can kind of move out of the way, that'd be great. All right, the person on deck, how you doing? You all right? Glad to be back. On deck, I don't want to fuck that up. Am I going to fuck it? Try Lee. I just didn't want to mess it up. You know how disrespectful that is if you mess up somebody's name. So, so you're on deck, all right? So we got Charles up here. Charles, you're going to go for 45 seconds, okay? After 45 seconds, the judges are going to reach you on a 1 to 10 basis. Keep in mind, judges, we have 26 contestants that are going to be in the trick show. The love goes right back to you, Josh. So, uh, everybody, if you guys see some shit you love, what are you going to do? Make some fucking noise, you know what I mean? 
YouTube, if you guys are out there on YouTube and you're watching this, if you enjoy what you're watching, by all means, chime in and uh, comment on the comment section. We'll give some shout outs to you. Charles, go ahead and check the air for me real quick. See if you like it. Yep, looks like the air really sucks. All right. So is everybody ready to do this? Let me get my little snazzy uh, stopwatch. All right, you ready, brother? Judges, you ready? 45 seconds, get it. That's it, 45 seconds, give it up for Charles. Yeah. All right, Tree, you're up next. Charlie. Ricardo, you're on deck. Ricardo's on deck. You ready? He's all, yeah, 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 I'm ready. Yeah, about that. You got a jam? You got the music up? The sound up? All right, Tree, 45 seconds. Get it. Give it up, give it up. 45 seconds, give it up to him. Ricardo is up. Ricardo is up. Maxwell, you're on deck. Maxwell on deck. Ricardo's up. Lucky Deuces, I, I keep feeling like, it, is there a breeze? Is there air on? Can somebody open that up and make sure that you yell to Lucky Deuces, make sure there's no air on? I know it's hot as fuck, but there's a little there's a little breeze over there. Just cuddle, Ooh. man. Snuggle struggle. Don't trip. This ain't Folsom. Shit. Ricardo, you ready to do this? Go ahead and check the air real quick to make sure it's all right for you. All right. Thank you. Yep, air sucks. All right. <laughs> Ricardo, you ready? Judges, you ready? 45 seconds. Let's get it.
45 seconds. That was awkward. <laughs> Maxwell, bring it up. I got an A Zeus on deck. A Zeus on deck. Trap, you're after that. Trap. Trap. Yeah, it's the main stage, bro. It's all fun games, so you come up here. Yeah, it's all right. It should be all funny games. Go ahead and check the air real quick, bro. Yep, still sucks. Max, you got 45 seconds. Judges, you ready? Let's get it. Forty-five seconds. Give it up for Max. Come on. <laughs> Zeus. Trap, you're on deck. Paul M is after that. You golden? All right. Zeus is up. 45 seconds. Judges, are you ready? You guys are scored and ready? Yeah? All right. 45 seconds. Get it. Give it up. All right, that was Zeus. We got Trap. Paul M, you're on deck. Ben Rosa is after that. Can we make a little hole for them? Make a hole? I know I keep walking back and forth and just fucking up the airflow right now, dude. So that's why, that's why I keep asking you guys to check airflow, but chunky guy moves in swiftly. You know what I mean? Yeah, it still sucks. Yeah, let's go. Justin, are we good? He said a little more. Just a little bit. Just a tip. A little more? Just a little bit more, Justin. That's all the way out? That'll work. It's all the way out. That's all I got. That's all the way out. <laughs> Never. <laughs> all right, Trap, you ready to kill this? Judges, we ready? 45 seconds. Get it.
Damn, Trap, give it up for Trap. Give it up for, can I, damn. Did we just get a new bar set right now? Did everybody just see that? Paul Lim, you're up. Ben Rosa, you're on deck. Trey, you're after that. No, 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 not at all. No, no, they don't feel shit, but I can feel it right here. It's, it's crazy. It's just, it's from the system. That's cool. Paul, you ready up there? You sure? Kinda? Ready though, just fuck it. We're gonna do it. All right. Judges, are we ready? You got 45 seconds, Paul. Kill it. Go. Forty-five seconds. Give it up. Give it up for Paul. Ben Rosa, where are you at? Ben Rosa. Trey is on deck. Bobby is after that. Matter of fact, after Ben, we're gonna take a little commercial break with Vape Capital Live on uh, Vape Capital YouTube. We'll give an opportunity to uh, open up the doors for a couple of minutes. Ben, why don't you go ahead and test your air, brother? Make sure you're ready. Yep. Ben, are you ready? Judges, are we ready? Judges are ready. All right, bro, you got 45 seconds. Kill it. Go. What a way to end it. Ben Rosa walking off like a boss right now. Jesus Christ. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Let's go ahead and open up these doors. We'll be right back with you.
All right, we're back live. Vape Capital. Where's the... All right, I need my judges back. We're back live, Vape Capital. Where's Don Carlo at? Put it to another song, but put it to like uh, not the very beginning of a song. All right, cool. All right. So you ready? Are you sure? Yeah. Lights, camera, action. You sure about that? You ready to go now? Nah. He told me he was nervous right now. I said, "Fuck that. Why be nervous?" So now I'm just fucking with him because why? Why have nerves right now? You're supposed to be having fun right now. I mean, because we're only we're only live streaming. Only like a couple hundred thousand people are gonna see this, so it's no big, it's no big deal, bro. It's just me and you, it's just me and you. No, I'm just kidding. Have fun, bro. Do your thing. We're gonna put 45 seconds on the clock. Judges, are you ready? Trey, are you ready? Let's go. Let's get it. Give it up for Trey. Come on, man. Hey, look at he didn't have any nerves right there, though, right? When the time starts, your nerves go away, right? Or maybe they don't. Fuck. <laughs> Bobby's up. Kyle Les is on deck. Kyle Les, you're on deck. Colton, you're after that. Bobby, you ready? You ready, Bobby? No? <laughs> Where's the draft? Was that from? <laughs> oh, my God. Where? <laughs> All right, Bobby, we got 45 seconds. Judges, are we ready? 
All right, let's get it. 45, go. Give it up for Bobby. <laughs> Kyle, you're up. Colton is on deck. Kento is after that. It's a little different up here, huh? It's a it's like an empty room. You're tricking in an empty room. I wish everybody up over there could experience what it's like over here because it's like you guys aren't even there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. You ready, Kyle? Judges, are we ready? You want to test your air first or are you good? Um, yeah. 45 seconds, judges. Let's get it. Give it up. Give it up. Next up, Andre. Yeah. With my Clado tank. Yep. Hella mean chucking, dog. Are you kidding me? Chucking. Colton's up. Are you ready, bro? You ready to do this? Kinto, you're on deck. Chris E, you're after that. Judges, are you ready? Wait, I walked through there. I'm chubby, I created a lot of wind. It's all right, I'm cool with it, bro. You know what I mean? I got a beard, it just matches. <laughs> you good now? All right, judges, you ready? DJ, 45 seconds, get it. Whoa, shit. Give me some on that. That wobbler right there? Come on now. That wobbler? Kento. Chris E, you're on deck. Jake R, you're after that. You ready? <laughs> get your drip on. Kento, you got 45 seconds, man. You're going to kill it. You sure hope so. 45 seconds to just do 
whatever you want. some randomness bro you can do it dad Kenzo you got 45 seconds judges we're gonna go for it 45 seconds on the clock kill it Forty-five seconds. Why you guys all sound down and shit? Like forty-five seconds. It's forty-five seconds. I'm, I mean, I didn't create the time, but he did some dope shit. No? Yeah. I thought it was dope. Chris, you're up. Jake, you're on deck. Rovers after that. All right, buddy, you ready? Check your air so we, we make sure that everything's uh, kosher up to your standards. Man, this air sucks in Lucky Deuces. Jesus Christ. We're never coming here again. All right, brother, you got 45 big ones on the clock. Judges, keep an eye out for the dope shit. And if you see some dope shit, make some noise. Give them some love. It's cool to be up here and uh, competing in front of everybody, you know? All right, let's go. 45 seconds. Hit it. You got 45 seconds. You sure you got enough? Uh, you sure you got enough juice on your wick right now? You sure? You flooded it. You're golden. Yeah. Judges, are we ready on your side? 45 seconds, Jake. Kill it.
Give it up for Jake. Rover, you're up. Just want to let everybody know that after Rover, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We're going to open the doors up real quick. Uh, if you want to vape, we'll run outside real quick. We're going to take like uh, maybe two minutes, two and a half minutes. Oh, shit. Yep, that just happened. That just happened right now. Lights, camera, action, live TV. We got Rover with his gorilla straps. <laughs> Sheesh. I love it how everybody talks shit, but none of you guys will come up here and do the same thing. Oh, got him. Because <laughs> I wouldn't either, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I couldn't do it either. No. Just don't shave. It's easy. Yeah, brush it a thousand times a day. Yeah, looking, looking for beard sponsors. Don't even trip. All right, Robert, we're going to give you 45 seconds, man. Judges, are you ready? DJ, let's get it. in the hell rover just took shit down right now maybe i maybe i will take my shirt off shit <laughs> all right we're gonna take a quick commercial break open up these doors for about two two and a half minutes and then we're gonna come right back with the new rest of the next 10 people we'll be right back
Hi guys, this is New Age Cleopatra. We're here with Avery, also known as Solid Ohms. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I'm great. So you won the competition yesterday. How do you feel about that? I honestly, really wasn't expecting it. I just came out here from Houston and gave him my all, and everyone just said I killed it, and I, I guess I did. <laughs> you did great. Congratulations. Thank you. Is there any sponsors you'd like to thank? Um, I would like to really thank Continuous Current. They have, since day one, brought me on their team and always took me under their wing and took care of me and always provided me with all the, the product that I needed. What is your signature trick? Recently, I like to do the shark splits and I came up with my own variation. It's called the shark fin split. You just kind of lift up your elbow like that and you got it. <laughs> there you go, first place at $500. There you go. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us and we'll see you in California. No problem guys, thank you for having me.
All right. Let's get that music off. Another friendly reminder to everybody's here. It gets really, really foggy in here really, really quick. So um, take a little break real quick. If you have to vape, I get it, whatever. I'm not your dad. All right. Daniel R, you're up. Please get those doors closed. People get situated. If you're standing in front of that side door, you're like my side door security right now, bro. If anybody uh, comes in, you got to tell them to wait, you know? Thank you very much. You sure you're ready for this? You ready? Not yet. He's just getting the music right. You good? Is the music volume up? All right, judges, are we ready? Daniel, are you ready? All right, let's get it. 45 seconds, go. Show some love. Amy, you're up. JV, you're on deck. And Kenny G, you're after that. We got quite the lineup for this last 10. Quite the lineup for the last 10. All right, let's see what Amy can do. Judges, are we ready? Amy, are you ready? Put 45 seconds on the clock. Good luck. Give it up for Amy. Give it up. JV, you're up. Kenny G, you're after that. Eight kids after that. Jay, you ready to kill this? You ready to kill it? That's what I'm talking about. We got to have that confidence right now, ready to smash this shit. It's the second stop of the VCCC tour, man. We got to kill this shit. Judges, are we ready? Jay, we got 45 seconds. Good luck. Give it up for Jay. Oh, he dabbed on him. Dabbing on him. Kenny G, you're up. K 
Kenny G. You are up. A kids, you're on deck. Bryce, you're after that. I know it's a little hard to adjust, man. I'll give you a second to adjust. Got to be honest, when I when I said Kenny G come up, I didn't expect to see you right now. That's cool though, Kenny G. What up, dog? No saxophone, you know what I mean? Kenny G. You should have brought your sax. You play sax? Don't fuck with me. Do you? Oh shit. <laughs> that would that'd be way too much right now. I couldn't even deal with that shit. <laughs> Kenny G playing the sax at a vape capital qualifier. Jesus Christ. Kenny, you ready? Your air good? Judges, are you ready? Let's get 45 seconds. Good luck. Give it up for Kenny. Hey, kids, let's go. Hey, kids is up. Bryce is on deck. Blackness is after that. Yeah, I just really said that. You know what's funny about when people put their, like, nicknames whenever they're, like, checking in? is last year some dude was competing and he kept putting his nickname and I would just not call his nickname. I couldn't bring myself to call a man Donkey Punch as he was coming up to the stage, you know what I mean? I just could not bring myself to be like, Donkey Punch, you're up next. I, fuck it. I just, I, I just called him Mr. Punch because he was here, you know what I'm saying? I was like, Mr. Punch, you're up. Yeah, Donkey Punch, what the fuck? Jesus Christ, Snuggle Struggle, yeah. Snuggle Struggle's way better than Donkey Punch. <laughs> oh man, I'll give you a second because I'm chubby acres and I walk through your shit, man. It's you're good. You don't care, soldier. He don't even give a shit. <clears throat> All right, judges are we? Yeah, I did card. <laughs> you know what's funny? We got a lot of comments on Vape Capital for uh, VC Vape Tricks with uh, with A kids. They were like, "Is he old enough to vape?" Yes, he is old enough to vape. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did when he came to Vape Capital headquarters. I had to before we filmed him. All right, we're going to give you 45 seconds, Byron. Good luck to you. Go for it. Give it up for Byron. Give it up. Bryce, are you up? Blackness, you're on deck. Young kiddo, you're after that. Young kiddo. Blackness and young kiddo. Young kiddo. That's just his uh, stage name, everybody. He's not really a young kid. He is of legal age to be in here. Vaping, also tricking. He's probably sponsored. Everybody in YouTube land, stop tripping. We're good. All right. You ready? Air sucks? Well, I stopped walking, so it's going to get better. 
You want to give it a second or you want to try it again? All right, shit, thug life. All right. Uh, judges, you ready? DJ, 45 seconds. Bryson, good luck. Get it. Bryson. <laughs> Young kid, let's get it. Blackness. Yeah, that's you. You better watch out. He has on a gorilla strap. You don't know if it's a mod or not. Stop tripping. True that. <laughs> All right, brother, you ready? Judges, are we ready? 45 seconds. Good luck. Hit it. Everybody give it up. Yeah. Give him some love. Come on. Yeah. Young kiddo, you're up. JC, you're on deck. And last but not least, the Omi Ben. You're after that. You good? <laughs> <laughs> don't be shy don't be scared man we're just gonna get it you can't even see anybody on me so it don't even really matter you know what i'm saying you're just tricking by yourself yeah all right man you want to test your air or uh no sorry hold on one second Yo, Manny, come up to the front right here. Manny, where's Manny at? Come sign in on the side. So if you didn't, if you just signed up on the app and you didn't sign up in the front, you gotta sign up right here. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, send me all their names. Yeah. All right, but we're gonna go right here with Young Kiddo. Are you ready, homie? All right, fuck it. We're gonna go for it. Let's let the uh, air down, die down after uh, my camera guy is going through the front. Let it just die down a little bit. Even though uh, the breeze feels good right now. Anybody else hot as hell in there? Yeah, a little bit. Just me, right? I'm the only, only chubby guy sweating. All right. 
I'm trying to tell you, man. Jesus. All right, we're going to put 45 seconds on the clock. DJ, let's get it. Good luck. Give it up. Give it up. JC, you're up next. Omi Ben, you're on deck. And Manny, you're up after that. All right. All right, man. Jay, are you uh, are you ready? You sure? You want to test your air? You don't even care? Fucking thug. That's what I'm talking about. Jesus. All right. We're going to give you 45 seconds. Judges, are you ready? DJ, let's get it. Good luck. Give it up for Jay. There you go. Finish it. Come on, give it up. Omi Ben. Omi Ben's up. Austin's on deck. Jeremy, you're after that. All right, Ben, you ready? Judges, are you ready? I can't see you, so can you yell out? All right. Ben, you got 45 seconds. Good luck. Go. Give it up for Ben, the Omi Ben. 
You see that behind the back with a little uh, jellyfish? Did you guys see that? All right, we got Manny up. Jeremy on deck. Logan, you're after that. And then Austin, you're after that. So just be ready, okay? After these uh, last four, we're going to take a break, open this up, air it out a little bit, take a little commercial. Hey, when we take our commercial break, can, can can we please, like, everybody, we're going to take, like, four minutes and, and just take a break and just open these doors up and open the back up. Anybody and everybody who's in here who vapes, can you please just, like, go outside and, like, vape outside so we can clear this out a little bit? All right, Manny, go ahead and test your air. Sucks. All right, let's get it. We got uh, 45 seconds. Judges, are you ready? All right, let's go. Damn, give it up for Manny right now. Let's go, Jeremy. Logan's on deck. Austin's after that. Logan's on deck. Jeremy. Austin is after that. Then we're going to open up these doors and give an opportunity for us to uh, air out this a little bit for, the, uh, for our judges to... Uh, All right. All right. All right, here we go. I'm sorry, I just walked through your airflow. I just fucked you all up. I know, man. It's like a Titanic when I come through. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so uh, we'll give you about a, a, a 30 seconds to let it calm down a little bit. If you want to test your air, you're perfectly fine with that. Yeah, I think we're all right. Yeah. All right, let's go. We're going to get 45 seconds on the clock. DJ, let's go. Give it up. Good job. Logan, let's go. Austin, you're up next. Logan's up. Austin's up next. Mr. Ruthless, what's up, dog? 
What's up, dog? Got that rig V2. Is that what you're using? With the with the roughneck? I do want to touch it. Can I? All right, cool. I just want to be a part of it. I just want to be a part of. That's all. He let me touch his rig. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was good. It was hard. Yeah. As many, as many pics as you get on your DMs, the new H. Cleopatra, you're really saying, ugh? Nah. All right. Nah, a lot of people slide to her DM. Trust that. <clears throat> all right. Uh, Logan, go ahead and touch your air real quick, man. Make sure you're all right to compete. You good? Judges, we ready? DJ, 45 seconds. Let's go. Good luck. <laughs> Shit! Way to end his run. Jesus Christ, Logan. Give me some, dog. That was fucking badass. Damn. Jesus. Ooh. Ooh. Hashtag ooh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. That was crazy, bro. Austin, you're up. Austin's going to be the last of this second group from all of what we've seen. 20, 30, sorry. 30. We have, the judges have the greatest job in the world to pick the top five from that 30 that ran. They have the fabulous job of picking the top five. We're about to be this last person. All right, we're going to go for it. You ready, bro, Austin? Yeah or no? Yeah? Judges, are you ready? 45 seconds on the clock. Good luck. Go. Forty-five seconds. Give it up for Austin. All right. So what we're going to do right now, while the judges are deliberating and they're picking out what they want to do, we're going to open up these doors, open up those doors. We're going to take a commercial break for about four minutes. If you're going to vape, please do me a favor and go outside. Everybody, please, if you're going to do me a favor and go vape outside, I'd greatly appreciate it. Get some fresh air, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 